Hello dear students I am Samir Velankar I welcome all of you to this first video on binary search tree a very interesting data structure Now binary search tree is a data structure then what do you understand from this that anything which stores data is called data structure so binary search tree stores data that's it now if somebody asks you what is binary search tree you can the simplest definition you can give is binary search tree is used for storing data full stop but then what is the arrangement of data so any data structure you know has a typical arrangement like linked list has a sequential arrangement isn't it like that what is the arrangement of data in a binary search tree of course binary search tree stores data but in what form so let's see in a binary search tree we have a node structure just as in a linked list we have a node structure and in every node we store some data now this data can be data of employee data of student whatever data of cricketer but for making it easy let's say that this node will store integer data simple simple int value it is storing so it has a field the node structure has a field which stores integer data let's say integer data is 100 and there are two more fields two more members in this node and these are pointers the two two more members that i am showing are pointers and they are named as left and right pointers you can give any name to the pointers but usually in the text of the binary search tree the name given to the pointers of the node inside the node is left and right now what this left pointer does is it stores address you know the definition pointer stores address and this left pointer will literally point address of another node now this node also will store some data let's say data is 50 integer data and this node will also have left pointer and right pointer it will also have left and right pointer and what is this what 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 will the right pointer do right pointer will also point to a node which stores some data integer data and th that node which stores 200 also has left and right pointer so every node stores some data and has two pointers left and right now we typically have a habit of giving some terms isn't it some terms by which our vocabulary will improve now this 50 this 50 at which the node is stored node stores 50 here is known as left child of 100 because it is towards the left of 100 and 200 here the node which stores 200 is called right child of 100 because it is to the right of 100 but but if you go technically what does this all mean is that if the address which to, which if the node i am so sorry if the node which stores 50 is at address 1500 let's say address of the node at which 50 is stored base address of the node is 1500 then the left pointer of the node which stores 100 will literally store 1500 that's how it knows where is that 50 stored similarly the node which stores 200 if it is stored at address 2000 then the right pointer of 100 will literally store 2000 that means it knows where is that 200 stored the data 200 is stored at the node which is at address 2000 now these pointers left right left right can again point to four nodes isn't it each pointing to a single node each pointing to a single node and this way the binary tree grows now the biggest point the core of the chapter is that you see that if suppose if you are asked uh, let's say you are asked that go to node 50 let's say go to the node which stores 50 but the point is you don't know address of where is 50 stored who knows the address where is 50 stored 
the left pointer of 100 notice the picture i will i will move i will move the mouse there who knows where is 50 stored left pointer of 100 knows the address address of that 50 isn't it or somebody tells you go to let's say value 25 in the tree go to the value 25 but then do you know the address of 25 not at all who will tell you the address of 25 is the left pointer left pointer of 50 has the address of 25 let's say address of 25 is 4000 then left pointer will literally store 4000 i hope you are understanding and the biggest crux of this entire topic is that we have not stored address of 100 anywhere address of the node which is the topmost node we have not stored it anywhere so there is one special pointer called root which always stores which always stores address of the topmost node now let's say topmost node is at address 1000 the base address is 1000 then the root will literally store 1000 and it will always point to this topmost node i hope you you remember that in linked list we had something like first pointer last pointer which pointed to first and last nodes or in a stack we had top pointer which always points to the topmost node like that here we have a root pointer which will point to the topmost node of the binary tree then topmost node will point to two other nodes then those two nodes will point to four nodes that's the way how the tree grows i hope you have understood the structure now now let's see the definition don't don't worry about this messy diagram i know i have overwritten many things the text has got overwritten with pictures but we will draw very neat diagrams when we continue with this video but then what is binary search tree bst in short is a data structure which is collection of nodes you can observe in the diagram that binary tree is nothing but nodes nodes and more nodes such that each node has some data like integer data and two pointers left and right and what does left and right pointers do they point to left child and right child nodes and those children again point to their children and this way the tree grows okay now let's see rule for storing data in a binary search tree there is a very small rule here just see whenever you store any data uh, any data to left of 100 now this node which i am pointing bring the mouse on is storing data 100 now if you store any value to the left of 100 it should be always less than 100 or equal to 100 if you are storing 100 again in this tree suppose 100 is repeated second occurrence of 100 is there then 100 goes to the left of 100 so you can observe this this node is storing data 50 and why we have stored 50 to the left of 100 why not to the right of 100 why not we store 50 here in the right node because the rule is any value which is less than 100 will go to the left of it and any value which is greater than 100 will go to the right of it so now we call this 100 as the parent node and parent node has left child and parent node has right child so what the rule is value stored in the left child again you see the mouse position value stored in the left child this child this is left child should be less than or equal to the value of the parent so any value less than or equal to 100 will go to the left and value stored in the right child check this this is the right child should be greater than value of the parent have a have a look at this again suppose we want to store 25 in this tree then first you compare 25 with 100 topmost node what's the relation 25 is less than 100 so where will you add 25 to the left isn't it because you are adding 25 and 25 is less than 100 so any value less will go to left but left of 100 is already occupied you can't throw it out it's 50 and remember you want wanted to add 25 now 25 is again less than 50 so 25 is added to the left of 50 here so i i, I will erase the slate and make it clean now neater diagrams can be drawn as we proceed but what you what you notice about the rule for storing data in binary search tree 
value stored at the left child node is less than or equal to value in the parent node and value stored in the right child node is greater than value stored in the parent node i hope you understand example will speak enough let's see suppose we are given some data data is simple integers list of integers has been given and we are asked to store this data in the computer memory simple question store the data in memory that's it then let's not first try to store it in binary search tree but let's ask a few questions do we know how to store this data of course we know method 1 you observe method 1 is to store data in an array simple isn't it let there be an array called a we will declare an array a yes and just ignore this equal to i don't know how to write it so let a be an array of in type then a can store values like this 100 which is the very first value observe which was given 100 will go at the zeroth location and the next value 50 which was given in the data will go at first location and so on isn't it we know how to store data in the form of an array then why aren't we using array why are we going to use binary search tree let's answer that question later do we know any other method to store data of course we know we can store data in a linked list see the sequence of numbers given can be stored in a singly or doubly linked list for example oh i am so sorry for this okay for example if we use singly linked list if we use singly linked list then 100 will go in the very first node isn't it of course to to that node there will be a special pointer first which will point i have not shown it and then there will be a next pointer next pointer will then point to second node which stores 50 and so on and then this can continue in the last node and last node will have next pointer equal to null so you know this second method of storing the data in the form of singly or doubly linked list but then there is one more method to store the given data is to use binary search tree so let's now see with the data given whatever was the data given how to create a binary search tree let's see that okay for our reference i will write the data again over here the data given was just don't read this explanation we will read that later but the data given was something like this 100 I'm so sorry. Just a minute. The data given was hundred. Correct. Two hundred seventy-five, one fifty, one fifty, three hundred. And what else was given? Let me scroll up. Three hundred twenty-five, five thirty-five, one twenty-five. Correct. Twenty-five five thirty-five one twenty-five. Twenty-five five thirty-five one twenty-five. Okay. Now, how do you create a binary search tree using this data? Let's see stepwise. Let's take hundred first, the very first data. What we will do is we'll create a node. This time I am going to show the node as a circle, which has two pointers, left and right. Imagine these two fields, and there is data field over here. the data we will store is 100 the very first data given in the list goes in the top most node we have a special pointer called root which will always store the address of this top most node now the two pointers left and right are supposed to point to left and right child nodes isn't it but there is a problem we don't have any more nodes we have only a single node 100 right now so the two pointers left and right will be made null just see as soon as we make this node 100 it has two pointers isn't it left and right but hello they can't point anywhere because right now it they don't have any child node so we immediately make left and right pointers null now let's take the second value 50 now where should 50 go in the current tree in the current tree 50 should go to the left of 100 because it is less than 100 correct so the tree we now get is 100 to which root points root pointer points to this node and recall left pointer of 100 was null in the earlier picture but now there is a node created which stores 50 
Now this 50 will also have two pointers left and right. Isn't it? But the left and right pointers of 50 will be right now null because 50 does not have any followers. Maybe later on if any value less than 50 like 25 comes into picture then it will go to the left of 50. And then we will have that null pointer not any more null but it will point to node 25. Okay, what do you have to the right of 100 from the earlier diagram? Null. That means there is not yet any value added which is greater than 100. Now let's take the next value 200. Now this 200 when compared with the topmost node 100 is greater than 100. So any value greater than parent will go to the right. So the tree we now get is 100 will be still stored as root node. Left of 100 is already pointing to a node which stores 50 with its left and right pointers equal to null. But the right of 100 which was null, right pointer was null, will no more be null. It will now point to 200 and the left and right data of 200 will be null. So this is a new node, isn't it? It does not have any followers. Now let's take next value 75. Now comes a very interesting part. Where will you add 75? You always start comparing 75 with root. I repeat, do not compare 75 with any intermediate node of the binary. Comparison of the new value that you are inserting will always start from the topmost node. Why? What's the reason? Why can't we directly compare it with 50? Or why can't we compare it directly with 200? Rubbish! We cannot compare it with 50 or 200 because we don't know their addresses. We know only one address which is given by root. We know the address of only topmost node of the binary tree. Are you following it? Like in a link list, we don't know the address of fourth node. Who will give address of fourth node? Third node. Third node address will be given by second node. Second node address will be given by first node. And first node's address will be given by the header pointer first. So any comparison of new node or new value will be started with the topmost node 100. Okay. So we want to add 75. What's the relation? 75 is less than 100. So 75 must go to the left of 100. But left of 100 is occupied. We can't throw it. Then 75 will be compared with the data 50. And what's the relation? 75 is greater than 50. Then 75 goes to the right of 50. I hope you have got it enough. So now the tree we have is 100. Still where root points. Left of 100 was 50. Its left pointer is still null, but right pointer of 50 will no more be null because 75 joins over there. But left and right of 75 will be null. And what about right of 100? It was 200. Whose left and right is still null? Agreed everyone. So now we are adding 150. Where will 150 go now? Start comparing with root. Remember always. What's the relation? 150 larger than 100. Any larger value will go to the right. But that node is 200. So compare 150 with 200. But 150 is less than 200. So 150 will go left of 200. Yes, everyone. So now I will draw this as follows. 100. Left of 100 was 50. Right of 50. And right of 100 was 200 but left of 200 is now 150. Other pointers whichever I have not shown over here are null. So you can imagine left of 50 is null although I am not showing it or left and right of 75 is null. I am not showing all the null pointers and 100 is where root points. All right. Now I will not draw separate diagrams. In this diagram itself I will add the next value 300. So check the root first. Root is 100. 300 is larger. So you should go to the right of 100. But right of 100 is 200. So compare 300 with 200. And 300, the new value, is greater than 200. So 300 should go to the right. Next value, 25. 25 is less than 100, the root value. So visit left. But left is 50. 25 is less than 50, so 25, 25 will go to the left of 50. 
and left and right of 25 will be null. I am not showing that. Next value is 5. It is understood then. It will go to extreme left. 5 will be added to left of 25 because it is less than 100, less than 50, less than 25. And left of 25 was empty. It was null. So 5 was added. Next value is 35. 35 is less than 100. So visit to the left of 100, which is 50. 35 is again less than 50. So visit to the left of 50. But 35 is greater than 25. 25 is right is null right now. It is empty. We have got a vacant place here. So 35 goes to the right of 25. Last value is 125. 125 is going to go to the right of 100, but left of 200, but left of 150. That's where 125 will be added. Now I will show all these pointers which were not utilized. So left and right of 75 is null. Left and right of 35 is null. 5 is null. I hope you understand. So this is the binary tree that we get finally from the given data. Okay. Let's take one more example. Suppose we are given this data. 200 and so on. Last value is 25. Let's do it in one, one picture now. 200 will be the root, the very first node. And root will now continue pointing here. It will not move anywhere. And the left and right pointers of 200 will be null. It does not have any left or right child right now. Take the next value, 210. 210 is greater than the root node. So 210 will be added to the right. So this null pointer will be no more null. 210 added to the, to, to the right of 200. And left and right pointers of 210 null. I am not showing null every every time now. Take next value 100. 100 is less than 200. So 100 will go to the left of 200. Next value 50. Start comparison of 50 always from root node. Don't compare it with any intermediate node. So first compare the new value 50 with root value 200. What do you say? Where will 50 go? Of course, to the left of 200 because it is less than 200. But left of 200 is already 100. So compare the new value 50 with 100 and 50 is less than 100. So 50 will go to the left of 100. Next value is 150. Start comparing at 200. 150 is less than 200. So come to the left of 200 which is 100. And 150 is greater than 100 and you have a vacant place here. So the right of 100. Next value is 300. 300 is larger than 200, larger than 210. So 300 goes to the right of 210. Next value is 205. 205 is greater than 200. Root value, so go to the right of root. But it is less than 210. So it will be added to the left. Left of 210. Next value is 250 after 205. Now 250 is greater than 200 root value. So go to the right. But that's 210 to the right of 200. Compare 250 with 210. It is larger again. So 250 will be added to the right of 210. But that's 300 to the right of 210. So you will compare new value 250 with 300. And as 250 is less than 300, 250 will be left of 300. Last value is 25. Needless to say, 25 will go to the left of 50 just check it on your own and now i am showing all these pointers which are not utilized like right pointer of 50 is not utilized it will be null or left and right pointers of 150 left and right pointers of 205 left and right pointers of 250 and right pointer of 300 all these will be null so this is the binary tree binary search tree we get just check out again if there was one more value let's say let's say 207 where will it be added 207 if you start 207 comparison from 200 207 is larger so you will come to the if you compare 207 with 210 it is lesser than 210 so you will come to the left now you compare 207 with 205 it is greater and you have got the right pointer. Greater means it should go to the right. And right pointer is null. So you can utilize this right pointer to point to a new node, which is 207. So 207 will go to the right of 205. Okay. 
Now, if any student is thinking about what if the values are repeated, let's say 200 that we have added comes again in the list, 200 it gets repeated, then where will it get added? Let's not think of that example right now, at least in this video, because I'll tell you the values generally are not repeated in real life. Now, these 200, 100, 210, 50, all these numbers which I have shown are usually some primary keys in database or in searching applications. Like this 200 might be roll number of a student. And you know this 210 is a roll number, 100 is a roll number. You know that two students will never have same roll number. Or maybe these are train numbers running on various routes of our country. And train numbers will never have same number. You, every train will have unique train number, isn't it? But still, I appreciate if you ask a question that what if the data is repeated? How will it be stored in a binary search tree? But let's not answer that question and mingle into it. Okay. But I hope you have understood how to create a binary search tree right now. Okay. What is the importance of this binary search tree? Now, you all know that we could have stored this data in an array. First method was an array. So conveniently, we could have stored. And second method was a linked list. And we have mastered this art of linked list from the earlier videos. Then why suddenly we are storing this data in a, in a binary search tree? The use of binary search tree or the importance of binary search tree is in searching. Now, whenever you store data in a binary search tree, the searching speed is tremendously fast as compared to linked list or array. Just as an example, just check this as an example. Suppose in this binary search tree that we have created, suppose we are asked search, search data equal to 25. That means we don't know whether 25 is present or absent, but we want to know is 25 there in this binary search tree. Then how would you search 25 in the given binary search tree? Your searching will always start from root node because that's the only node you know. You don't know address of any other node, isn't it? Because address, address of any node is stored inside some other node. The root pointer is the only pointer which gives the direct address of the topmost node. So you will go to the topmost node by using root pointer and you will ask, is this 25? You are looking for 25, isn't it? But that data is not 25. But you know that 25 is less than this data, 200. So if 25 is supposed to be present, we don't know 25 is present or not. But if 25 is supposed to be present, shouldn't it be to the left of 200? Because any value less than 200 was stored to the left. Now we come to the left. When we visit left, we approach 100. But we are looking for 25. Then if 25 is present, it should be present to the left. We approach 50. But we are looking for 25. If 25 is present, it should be present to the left of 50 and we get 25. So what's so special about it? The extraordinary fact about it that we have searched 25 by just doing four comparisons, only four comparisons. You see, first comparison was done at 200, second what was at 100, third was at 50, and fourth was at 25. Yes, after comparing this 25, we knew that 25 is present, so we should count this comparison also. So to search 25 in a binary search tree, when, when the search data was 25, for Binary search tree, the number of comparisons, the number of comparisons, I'll write in short comp, number of comparisons were four. But now you just assume that the same data was stored in an array like this 200, 0th position, 210, first position, 100, second position, and so on. This is how sequentially the array is holding the values, isn't it? And suppose we are asked to store 25 in an array. I mean, we didn't know binary search tree. We have not created a binary search tree, but we have created an array and we have stored the data in an array. Then this is really bad. This is bad. Because how will you store 25? How will you search? I'm sorry. How will you search 25 in an array? You will ask, is 0th position storing 25? Answer is no. Then you will ask, is first position storing 25? Answer is no. You will keep doing this and you will ask every position. Is it storing 25 till you reach 25, correct or not? The position which stores 25. 
and to your bad luck 25 is stored at the last location the number of comparisons will be immense isn't it it will be a lot of comparisons done to, to search 25 whereas for the same data in a binary search tree you hardly did four comparisons i hope you are understanding isn't it same thing will happen in a linked list suppose you store 200 in a, in a node and the next pointer points to the next pointer points to 100 and this goes on if you have created a link list and the first pointer you all know points to the very first node and you are asked to search 25 then you can only go to this first node and ask is it 25 no is the answer then using the next pointer you will go to the next node is it 25 next node storing no is the answer and you will keep doing this keep going node after node till you reach the node which stores 25 but that is lot of comparisons isn't it so binary search tree has an advantage on an average it runs the searching very fast as compared to arrays and linked lists so that's what i have written I, i'll just i'll just read out the statements written here suppose we have already constructed a binary search tree for this data and let's say that we want to search 25 in the tree then procedure for searching 25 in the about tree the about tree shown will be as follows i am not reading out all this okay but you can always rewind the video and you can you can read out the same description which i gave how we reached 25 and the number of comparisons needed to search 25 were four comparisons were done with 200 100 50 and the last comparison was done with 20 four comparisons in the given set of data is very small amount of comparisons believe me but now imagine that we have stored the data in an array sequentially and we are asked to search 25 then we will ask this person are you 25 no then ask next person are you 25 no keep doing this keep doing this till somebody says i am 25 but then it will be too late lot of comparisons isn't it you can count the number of comparisons for searching 25 in this array will be 8 well 4 for binary tree 4 comparisons in binary tree versus 8 in array is a lot of improvement isn't it so observe that binary search tree gives a very good performance in searching the data as compared to array binary search tree has its applications in searching so it's a it's a very big video i know but i hope that you are now uh, knowing what is binary search tree structure how to create a binary search search tree step by step rules for storing the data in a binary search tree and use of binary search tree okay thank you very much